Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my March favourites video. I have a few beauty products and I have a few other products that I just, well not products generally, um, just other things that I want to share with you guys. So if you are interested to see what I was loving in the month of March, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start out with makeup. First of all, I have to mention this brush. This is my new favourite thing in the world. This is the Artiste Oval 8 brush. I literally just uploaded a review and a demo on it today. And this is kind of cheating because I have had it for just over a week. But I've used it every single day since I've got it and I cannot get enough of it. I think you know with a brush how much you're going to love it when you very first use it. You sort of get that idea straight away whether it's going to be a good brush for you or not and this is like my dream brush so if you want to hear more on my thoughts and sort of about this brush i will link the review and the demo down below in the description box so make sure you go and check that video out it's a lot more in depth and descriptive this brush is super expensive but it has definitely made my favorites for the month of march even though I've only had it for such a short amount of time, I seriously love it so much. My next favourite is a concealer and this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. So I finally gave in to the hype of this. I wasn't giving in to the hype because I was like, no, no, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is the best. Like nothing can beat that. This is just as good and it's in a doe foot formula. So... By that, I mean it has the little doe foot spongy applicator rather than the pump which the MAC Pro Longwear has. I do still love my MAC Pro Longwear, but this is definitely close second. It is just such a good formula. It's creamy, but it's full coverage. It's hydrating, but it's not oily. It's just everything that I want in a concealer, and I really, really, really love it. I have the shade Light Warm. I wasn't too sure what shade to get, and this is so expensive too. This is another really... Like, it's not even luxury product. It is to me because Urban Decay is luxury to me. But it is super pricey, but it is definitely super worth it. And you don't need a lot of product at all. A tiny bit goes a long way. Another concealing product that I've been loving in the month of March. I think I just winked at you guys. Like, I think I just blinked one eye. Sorry. Another concealing product, as I was saying, is this Cryolan Concealer Wheel. Um, now, I was actually sent this by Cryolan. I've got a really itchy nose about three weeks ago and I really 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 love it it's basically a color correcting wheel so it's got one two three four five six shades in it as you can see I've been loving this salmony pinky shade to correct my under eye circles I will put this on either after my foundation or before my foundation and then just apply my products over the top and you literally cannot see a dark circle underneath my eyes. So the colours in here, there's one that neutralises red, which is this one. This one neutralises red as well, so it's two different skin tones. This one down here neutralises blue, so that's the one you can use under the eyes. This one neutralises purple, which is the one I've been using underneath my eyes. And this one here neutralises brown, so I guess if you have hyperpigmentation or... Um, freckles or something that you want to cover I guess that would be what you would use that for and then the middle shade is just a highlight shade and it's a nice yellow and that just works to conceal and highlight I've been using it on the tops and like high points of my face and just blending it out um, and it just adds so much dimension to the face and just brings a life to it and they're super creamy the only thing they do crease a little bit under the eyes but you just have to make sure you set them pretty much straight away with a good setting powder. I did notice when I didn't use a setting powder straight away with one of the under eye correctors, um, I did start to get creasing. So do keep that in mind. You just need to set it straight away and have a good powder. I've got a mascara that I have been loving through the month of March. I was actually loving this in February as well, but I um, only just remembered to talk about it now. And it's the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I love this. It's super voluminous. Um, gives your lashes length. It just does everything that I would want. Maybelline mascaras are by far my favourite drugstore mascaras. Nothing even comes close to them. And this is another fantastic one. This one is an old favourite that I've had for a long time. And I've just sort of pulled it back out of my collection this month and been loving it. And it is the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer. So... As you can see, I have, I'm sorry, I have such an issue nose. As you can see, I have majorly hit pan in this, so it is quite hard to get the product out at the moment, but I'm not too stressed about that because I do have this kit that actually has a hauler in it up here, which I did try to depot so I could put it into a Z palette, and I just took a big chunk out of it. 
Um, I'm sure now that I have a little bit more knowledge about things that I would maybe be able to do it, but I just leave it in here. It came with a few other things. Um, this is really old, so you, I'm sure this is not available anymore, but it's just Hula bronzer that I use it for. So I do think I will repurchase this one again in the little box once it runs out. It's just so much more handy for travel. But this is just such a gorgeous bronzer. It's a beautiful shade. You can contour with it. You can bronze with it. Looks good on fair skin. Looks good on tan skin. I just really, really love it, and it's such a good formula. It's been quite a long time since I purchased anything new from Benefit, so kind of making me want to go back into the Benefit family and try some new things out. Next up is a foundation and it's the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. Um, I'm in the shade G20 and basically I haven't tried these alone but I've been mixing these with all different foundations and especially ones that I'm not that fond of. So for example, I, I don't love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I really don't. I highly doubt that I will re repurchase it because it's just not something that looks nice on my skin and there's a lot better foundations for the same price or a little bit more that I would rather buy. But mixing that foundation with these cover drops gives the absolute most beautiful finish. So basically it allows me to wear foundations that are more expensive that I've bought that I don't particularly love. Um, and wear them with this and it just gives it such a nice formula. It makes it more creamy. I don't know. I just I love these drops I think they're such a versatile product as well um, So basically what they do if you don't know um, is they're complete pigment drops So you can either use them on their own to have a, an extreme full coverage foundation Or you can do what I do and just mix a few drops. You literally need like two or three drops um, and it mixes with the foundation to adjust the coverage or you, you can adjust the color That's mainly what I use it for like to adjust the color um, And as I said to change the formula of foundations that I don't love so been really loving these in the month of March My next favorite is an eyeshadow palette and it is the Morphe 12 NB palette So this is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. Morphe calls it their baby of the 35O palette um, which I do kind of agree with it does have a lot of the same kind of shades So they're warm they're beautiful like rich browns and neutral tones and I've just been reaching for this for like everyday work makeup. Um, I'm someone who wears eyeshadow to work. I just I'm obsessed with eyeshadow. eyeshadow. I'm obsessed with eyeshadow. I love wearing it. Um, but this is just a gorgeous palette and yeah I purchased mine from MakeupNet.com but I have actually ordered another palette in this like style, it's not one of the big ones, from beautybay.com, so if you find it more convenient to order from Beauty Bay, then they do sell a lot of Morphe products as well. So that was it for my makeup and beauty favourites. Next thing I want to mention is my planner. Now this is kind of random, but I just could not not mention it. I have been obsessed with planning in the month of March. So I've discovered the world of stickers and like plan with me's and all that kind of thing. So this is my planner. It's not a fancy Erin Condren one. It's not anything like that. But basically I have been loving decorating my weeks with stickers. So as you can see, this was the past week's spread. Um, oh, this is hard. This is this week's one. I have obviously not really filled everything out. I've just sort of filled in what I know is happening this week. Um, but in here are all my stickers. So basically these are just functional stickers like ones that say it's the weekend. There's little ombre, ombre heart check boxes. Um, so you can do to-do lists. There's payday stickers. There's bill juice stickers. There's little flags. Um, there's coffee ones. I've just, most of these I've ordered from Happy... Cloud Ink and they're an Etsy shop so I'll link their Etsy shop down below if you're interested but I have also ordered from from Made by Alyssa and I've got a few of hers as well like these ones all say it's the weekend and it's just a really fun way to sort of do your weekly planning and like I'm a very visual person and a very decorative person so doing this really helps with um, anxiety and I get really down on Sundays I don't know if you guys know this, I have mentioned it before. So I just tend to sit down with my planner on a Sunday and decorate my week and write down everything, like, I write down everything I've got to look forward to and all of that kind of thing, just so I have things, you know, going on and it's interesting to... Let's turn to this page because this page is more decorated. Um, so yeah, and I kind of use it as like a thing I can go back on, which I always have used my diaries in this way, like, 
I write down what I did that day and things like that. So um, I'm just absolutely loving stickers and planning and yeah, it's fun. Next thing I want to mention is a skincare product and I purchased this at the beginning of March I believe and it is the Mario Badescu Skincare Drying Lotion. So it's basically got salicylic acid, here we go, isopropyl alcohol, aqua, calamine, camphor, sulfur, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, talc, glycerin, and salicylic acid. It's cruelty free and paraffin free. So basically it is a little formula that's clear and then it has the pink powder at the bottom. You just want to get a cotton bud, dip it in, you don't shake this product up, you leave the pink stuff in the bottom. Um, and basically, yeah, you stick your cotton bud in until it reaches the pink. Then you just pop it onto any blemishes or pimples or spots, whatever you call them. And you leave it on overnight and it pretty much dries out any bacteria and like all the bad gunk in your pimple. Like, it sounds gross, but that's what it does. It doesn't so much work on pimples that aren't like surfaced. For example, I have a pimple here that's like, it needs to be popped. It's underneath the skin and it's angry. Angry pimple. Um, but I am not one for popping pimples on my face, really. I don't like to do it, unless I really have to. So if I was to pop this, I would then put this on and it would dry up all the bacteria and just help it heal. So I've actually really been loving this. I had a massive pimple in my eyebrow um, when I first got this and it healed it pretty much within two nights of using this. I have really been liking it. So if you're someone who suffers with bad breakouts, I'm personally very lucky and I get the only the occasional breakout and the texture on my skin. But if you're someone who does suffer from breakouts, I would highly recommend trying this. Um, it's only a little bottle and it's about $24 or $26, which does seem like a lot, but you barely need any, any product. This is going to last you forever, so I think it's a good investment. And lastly, I'm just going to do a couple of music favourites, because who doesn't love some music favourites? So... Again, you guys know I love my country music. I've been loving Florida Georgia Line. They're one of my favorite country music bands. This one is called Confession. So I've been loving that one. And I've also been loving by Florida, Get Your Shine On. So if you are a lover of country music and you haven't heard Florida Georgia Line, you need to get on that. They are amazing. Their lyrics are beautiful. My all time favorite song by them is Dirt, so go and listen to that. I don't know why I like that song so much, it is just my favorite. Um, and then from non-country music, I have been loving this song by Alessia Cara called Wild Things. Also love Get Me Some of That by Thomas Rhett, which is another country song. And also been loving I Took a Peel at a Visa by Mike Posner, which is this one. I took a pill in Ibiza to show a VG I was cool. So I'll have all those songs listed down below. Buying battery is about to die. It is blinking at me saying, Brie, hurry the F up. You are taking too long. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed my March favorites. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. How far back should I sit? Is there a hair on my nose? Sorry, I must be. Birds. Where is it? Might. Might. My all time. My all time. Let me know down below what you were loving in the lunch. No, no, don't do that because you'd never do.